Hi folks, Bill and Rhonda here, hoping that you're truly having a good day. We're here for the daily word of encouragement and welcome you to spend a few minutes with us as we continue to explore the I Am sayings of Jesus found in Gospel of John. Jesus used these sayings to reveal who he is and how he moves in our lives. Today we're looking at the saying found in John 10, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The term shepherd has a lot of connotations for us. We see the shepherd as being decisive as he leads the sheep and is responsible to care for them and to find them when they are lost and in need of rescue from danger. He's supposed to keep them safe from predators and provide medical treatment when they become sick. He also leads them to pastures where they'll find good food and to places where they can drink the water in safety. In John 10, Jesus describes the incredible and intimate relationship he enjoys with those who belong yes, to him. Yes. Babies, he says he knows his sheep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they know him. Yes. We who believe gave this kind of knowledge over time. Okay. It flows out of a deeply personal relationship. It's intimate and, mm -hmm. and it's a knowledge that's gained from personal experience. Mm -hmm. Jesus explains how the sheep hear his voice and he calls each one by name as he leads them out. I find this mm -hmm. so encouraging because this describes the relationship that he wants to have with you and, and with me. He knows us perfectly. Mm. He knows our strengths and our weaknesses. And he loves us anyway. Yes. He calls us by name so that we know that we belong to him. And he invites us to press into an even, even deeper relationship with him. Mm. That's so true. And this passage talks about how he protects us and he leads us. Step by step, the Lord is with us, guiding and equipping us to be all that he created us to be. He's committed to you and actively works in your behalf to bring about your highest good. Jesus says that he is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Mm -hmm. And that is exactly what he did when he chose to die on the cross to pay the price for our sins. He gave his own life so that he could ransom us redeem us, and save us. That sal salvation is not something that is way off in the future mm. someday when we step into eternity. Mm. It, it, it describes a quality of life, everyday life, that He is making available to us mm. right now. Mm -hmm. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came mm. that they might have life and have it abundantly. Amen. Amen. Jesus wants you to know that he came and gave his life for you so that you could be, store, be restored into right relationship with God the Father and to secure a place in heaven for you. But he also gave his life so that you could mm. live an abundant and extraordinary life right now. Oh, right now. It is a life lived out in vital connection with mm. God and filled with impact as we reflect His glory all around us. And it is our prayer that you will reach for that abundant life and refuse to settle for anything less. Mm. Wow, right now, I like that right now. We're so glad that you were able to spend a few minutes with us today and we pray that you were blessed by our thoughts and we look forward to seeing you again soon. So, go out with Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and have a blessed day. And God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.